All right, we're on the easement road. We're facing east, and we're about to take a look at track 27 at Panther Hollow. Big track. It's very, very private toward the end of the uh, of the road. We passed the farmhouse, uh, the original farmhouse, uh, a couple hundred yards back. It's a pretty good landmark that lets you know you're getting close. And as we're um, as we're heading east, the land's going to be on the left. It's got a little bit of meadow on the west side um, and then widens out from there and it's mostly wooded. And I believe there's a driveway and a site toward the east side uh, that the guys kind of recently cleared, but uh, we'll know in just a couple minutes here. So we're using the MapRite app. You can see that on the phone here. The, the little blue triangle is us and we're headed east or southeast, I guess. Um, so the property's beginning on the left. The crazy orange squiggles you see, uh, we've got the tracking feature on uh, on our MapRite app. Um, we've got the paid version. I think that's a paid feature. You definitely don't need it. Uh, we use it when we're out driving around on properties because then we can kind of trace the, the trails we've used and see where stuff is. So um, you can kind of see where we've already been today and we're coming up um, just about 100 feet, we'll see track 27 on the left. So this particular tract uh, has an interesting feature that some people have strong feelings about and some people don't care one way or the other. Uh, but when the guys were out here kind of working on the road, they discovered a small, uh, very small, very old uh, private family cemetery on the property. Uh, so we'll check that out as we go in. I believe it's right about where the meadow meets the timber um, and that's all I know I haven't uh, seen it yet but we'll check it out it's actually um, pretty common uh, basically any any large tract uh, that was a family tract uh, they had to have a, a place to, to do that and so um, this was a, a large family tract uh, for many generations and uh, that's what the that's what the guys found Okay, so the, the property has just begun on the left side. So you can see that section of meadow. So as we're heading easterly, property on the left. It has a ton of frontage on the easement road. And the easement road is kind of gradually going downhill now. And at some point I'll stop and we'll see if we can find that uh, that old cemetery. They said it was right at, just off the edge of the meadow. So let's, let's go check on that. So it's actually a pretty decent little section of meadow here that's on the property. And potentially, if you wanted a, a super easy place to pull your your camper, uh, your RV in uh, while you're doing some camping out here, um, this meadow area, I would think that if you go back toward the, the edge of it, uh, you could get well beyond that road easement. There is a measurement function on the interactive map on the map right app and the listing page. Uh, so you can actually measure uh, and see. Okay, so I see a little fence here. And I bet that's it. Little fenced area. That's got to be it. Yep. Well, it's even smaller than I thought, actually. So it's about a, I don't know, 15 by 20 foot uh, fenced off area. Oh, it's got a little gate. That's cool. It's been there for a while. It's grown into that tree. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to try to try to get a look at this. Dowden, D-O-W-D-E-N, 
Mary J. and Thomas J. Dowden. So husband and wife probably buried here. Uh, 1913 for Mary, 1894 for Thomas. So a little over 100 years old. That's pretty cool. Well, <laughs> that's one person's opinion. I know that some people share that opinion and some don't, but that's completely up to you. We just wanted to make you aware that that, that was on the property here. Okay. So we'll head back to the truck in a moment. It's cool, these, these piles of rocks you see uh, those have nothing to do um, with the tiny little cemetery there. Those are going to be from when they cleared this meadow uh, 100 or 200 years ago. They would pile up the rocks. Sometimes they would build walls. In fact, that looks like the start of a rock wall right there. And this is kind of a cedar grove. It's a mixture of big cedars and some hardwoods as well. We're looking into the sun, which is why everything looks dark. And here's where we are on the property. Let's uh, head back to the truck. We'll drive down to the east and we'll keep on checking this big tract out. see some brush and, and limbs and whatnot. That's from this road being widened out. Another big pile of rocks there. I think there probably was an old rock wall that, that ran through those trees. I'm almost certain of that. So this area with a lot of cedars, this was probably old meadow. And you can see when they created the meadow, how they piled the rocks and essentially created a rock wall that's, that's been here probably a couple hundred years. It's since grown back up into cedars and some hardwoods, but this was once an open meadow. Go track 27. Now we know we're at the right spot. And we're coming down toward the end of the uh, easement road. There's a cul de sac and a turnaround. I don't see any, any existing driveway on this property, so uh, maybe, maybe there isn't one. Oh, hold on. There we go. There actually is. Turn on the four wheel drive here. So this little driveway shoots into the north, coming off of the uh, easement road. And 
it actually leads to a pretty good sized cleared site here. This is great. Looks like they've had the mulcher out here and they mulched up the younger stuff. The smaller trees, I should say. So this is well off the easement road. So this could potentially, if you wanted it to be, it could be a campsite or a building site. It's far enough off the easement road that it's beyond the setback distance. Very pretty. And there's a little orange ribbon here with the trail leading downhill, so we're gonna check that out as well. I'm pretty sure I hear running water, so that would be cool. Oh yeah, absolutely. There is a little creek on this property. Gorgeous little creek, that's awesome. <laughs> wow. Very clear. So there's actually a, a little spring fed creek crossing right over this property. Here's where we are on the property, by the way. Let's try that again. <laughs> I accidentally shut it off. There's, there's where we are on the property. The blue arrow being us. Well, that is very, very cool. Miniature waterfall right there. That's gorgeous. Well, that's pretty neat to see on the property. It just got even cooler. The temperature dropped about, feels like 20 degrees as we got close to the creek. Natural air conditioner. Awesome property. Check out the listing page. You can see a, a drone video. You can see some other cool stuff. Uh, and then if you have any questions, just let us know.